Neo Kiss. Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. Mr. Neil Kiss here, and today I am excited because I get to share with you a creation uh, that I made as a tool for you to keep track of your dancing, level up your dancing, and I'm really excited to get all into the nerdy details with you. So if you are a dance instructor or a dance student, and dance instructors are still students, by the way, and you want to keep track of your dancing to level up your dancing to the next level, this video is for you. This is for all dancers, whether you are a solo dancer, hip hop, ballet, belly dancing, or partner dancing, Brazilian zouk, urban kids, salsa, fusion, this is gonna benefit all of you. So let's dive in. So before we jump into my screen and I show you what I have created here for you guys, this tool, is for 100% personalized tracking designed for all dancers to keep track of past and future training sessions across all of the dance styles that you train in. So whether you are doing a solo practice or a group practice with another person, like with a practice partner, private lessons, group lessons, from a local class to an international congress and also socials, and probably more. This, I'm gonna be providing you guys with a template that's completely customizable, but whatever you want to keep track of in your dance journey, this is gonna be able to enable you to do that. So let's go ahead and jump onto my screen and I can show you guys what I have created here for you. Okay, so the app that we're gonna be using here that's allowing all of this to be possible is gonna be called Notion. Notion is kind of like this all-in-one workspace uh, where you can create all kinds of different tasks and notes and wikis and it's available on your laptop or you can use it also on your phone. Uh, lots of companies and, and creatives have been using this to create their own kind of custom templates and that's what inspired me to create one for dance. It is completely free to get started. So as you can see here for personal use, uh, unlimited pages and blocks, you can start to sync with people and when you get to the point to where you want to have unlimited file uploads and unlimited guests, then you'll be able to try for just four bucks a month. And it's it's inexpensive for what this program does. But I just want to let you know that it is 100% free to get started with Notion. And you would just go to notion.so to get started there. So uh, the training journal that we have here, when you download the template, this is the first thing that you're going to see. And basically there's three different sections here. There's going to be an empty template for you to use, uh, for you to add your own stuff. But I also created a dummy template here for you to kind of see how I'm using it and to kind of test things out as well. And the video that I'm going to be recording right now is actually going to show up here. So you'll be able to access this video as well. So these are going to be the three different sections that you're going to be seeing in the video here. So before we even get into the template, uh, let's go ahead and jump into the training module here that I created. So I have Sabrina Claudio here just because I have a crush on her. Um, this is, you're going to see some weird celebrity names in here and different scenarios that happen, but this is all of the dummy data that I have built in here for you. So, uh, let's go ahead and break it down section by section. Yeah. Up here at the top, we have a self-awareness section and this self-awareness section is basically, uh, where you're going to be able to input your dance love languages, your love languages and your dominant learning style. And I think this is pretty cool because if you haven't heard, you see my other video about the dance love languages. I'll link that in the description below. Uh, there's a link here where you can go to Laura's blog and take the quiz and figure out which one of these are your top love languages and you can feel that out. So I think that's important for self-awareness. You can also go into the love languages and here at the bottom, you'll see a toggle that you can open up and you can take the quiz. So these are the different love languages that we have. And another thing that I think is really, really important, whether it's you by yourself or if you're working with an instructor over a long period of time, you can find out what your dominant learning style is here. So when you download these, the toggles are going to open up the links that you can go to to go and take these quizzes and then you can take those results and put them back in here and they will be basically at the top of your journal dashboard here. On the right hand side, we have dance concepts. 
So here I just have like some dummy content here. You can go through and add videos to these pages. So like if I were to open up Spinal Isolation Drill, there's nothing in here. But as you start to use Notion, you can put a video in here. You can put notes in here, all kinds of things that you can put in here so you can have it all in one place according to the different dance styles that you're dancing in, uh, key concepts that you want to be aware of, and also overall dance goals. And if you have anything else that you want to add here at the top in your dashboard, you totally can. This is all customizable when you're going to download this template. Below the self-awareness and the dance concept templates, we have two main sections here that are working together. We have our journal entries. And right now, this is just a big dump of all of the different entries here. And we have training moments. And so for me to explain the relationship between the training journal and the training moments, basically a training journal is basically any time that you are practicing or having a lesson or a class or a festival or anything like that, that's gonna be an instance here at the top in the training journal. And the training moments here at the bottom, these are going to be the timestamps of the videos that you're going to be recording. So let's say, for example, you practice with your friend Tom and you guys practice triple spins and you recorded the video, you uploaded the video, and you saw that at the one minute mark, I did this really cool move. So you can have a highlight with, that you wanna be able to recall later. And if you say a moment where you need to improve, then you can also say, hey, at the two minute mark, there was something that I want to draw attention to to make sure that I practice for future reference. Yeah. So I think this is really, really super important because I've been a part of multiple dance scenes for many, many, many years. And I feel it's always been a struggle to organize all of the videos from all the different festivals that you've gone to, all the different classes that you've taken, all the private lessons that you've taken. It's it's hard to keep track and keep track of the notes. So for me, I do use this with some of my private lesson students where I do have an ongoing relationship where we're taking multiple lessons over time. And if you don't have an instructor and you're just a student, you can also set this up as well and keep track of your private lessons with different instructors. Yeah. So if we are investing so much time over the years and, and so much money that we pay for the private lessons and to travel and the hotels and the festival passes and all these things, I feel like this is super, super dope to be able to have it all in one place and have it organized. And I'm going to show you how we can filter it and control this and really start to harness the power of Notion at least from my current level of understanding in Notion right now. There are higher levels to this, but I'm not there yet. So this is why we see uh, the Trainers Dancers Journal 1.0, because I'm pretty sure as I learn more about Notion, I'll be able to upgrade this and have even a more robust system here, yeah? So two main things here, Training Journal, instances and training moments yeah so let's go ahead and take a closer look at the training journal i am going to open up solo practice 003 here when you click on a particular instance it'll open up like this so you can take a peek at it if you want or you can click up here at the top and click open as page and it'll take up the full view um, another cool thing with notion is if you go up here to where the three dots are I like to open up to where it takes the full width of the screen and we can see everything a lot easier. Yeah. So here in the in the training journal entry, we have the date, we have the dance style. So here in the dance style, I can add whatever dance style that I want. So here I just have like some basic ones here. So Urban Kids, Brazilian Zouk, Ballet, West Coast Swing, Fusion, Hip Hop. It doesn't matter. You can put anything here that you want. Uh, while we're here, let's go ahead and add twerk. And also the colors here are customizable as well. If I click on the three dot here, let's make twerking pink. Yeah. And so I can definitely say, okay, I practice hip hop and twerking today. Yeah. So that's all customizable. We have the type of practice. And so here, these are the ones that I kind of came up with, but you can add others if you feel that you need the need for. So solo practicing, a private lesson, a practice partner session, a group lesson, 
And basically this FCWWWC stands for Festival Congress Workshop Weekender or Weekly Class. So whatever that falls under, it's all it's all group lessons. So you can kind of just categorize that all together. And then we have socials as well that we can add. And again, if you want to add other types of practice here as well, you totally can. The instructor here is not always going to be a thing, but as you can see here, I just have some different random instructors in here. Um, for a solo practice, it's not going to be necessary. We have other people. So if you're practicing with another person, uh, that's where you can add that in as well, especially if you're going to be practicing with this person over time. And we have duration in hours. So here we can see here that this was a 30 minute session since it's 0.5 uh, location. That can also be whatever you want. It could be Bob's house. It could be your house. It could be the dance studio, all kinds of different things that you can create in the template that I'm going to be providing for you guys. Yeah. The training moments is what I mentioned before. We're going to delve into that in a little bit and then we'll go into the events. So if this is tied into an event, Neo Kids is one of the events that I run, but it could be a social, it could be a fusion event, it can be whatever you want here that you can add as well. And you'll be able to filter by these later on, which I'll show you here in the video. And the focus here as well uh, can be different things. Uh, whatever technique that you're working on, you can definitely add these as a tag and it'll be something that you can use over and over again. Yeah, I have other two properties here at the bottom. Um, you can kind of choose which properties you want to hide and reveal really, really customizable here. Yeah. When you create a new session in your journal, I created these uh, prompts here that you can use. And you can totally create others if you want, but um, basically what was your focus with this solo practice? And you can list those here. What were your takeaways? And this could be like, hey, these are my highlights. These were the things that I want to improve. You can keep track of the music that was being used. So here you can see I was practicing my hip hop. So I just put like a random hip hop video there on YouTube. And then this is where you would put the videos here under the video section. I don't have a video here listed, but this could be a link from Google Drive. I wouldn't recommend uploading videos to Notion because it's going to be kind of heavy. I would definitely recommend uploading your videos to Google Drive. The digital storage in the cloud is really inexpensive. And then from there, you can link whatever Google Drive video here, this here in this section. Like I said before, the training moments section here is where we input a timestamp. So here you can say that I inputted one at the one minute mark of our imaginary video. Uh, musicality highlights great musicality to the lyrics. Yeah. And let's say I was watching the video and I noticed on minute three that I did a cool. I'm going to add another highlight here. Let's say cool head motion. Yeah, that could be something that I want to add and here you can see that we have the tags. So this can be, again, different techniques that we want to be able to highlight or draw attention to. Uh, the dance style is going to automatically populate the type of moment you'll choose, whether it's going to be a highlight or a need to improve. And then we just added one here on the fly. We'll go a little into more detail here and then you can also keep track of who's going to be a part of this as well. So I just added that highlight here of the body movement highlight. And for the sake of this video, while we're here, let's go ahead and click new. And let's say at the four minute mark of our imaginary video, we had a spin need to improve moment and we can add need to focus on axis. Yeah, we'll just click back into our solo practice here. And you can see that I added those here at the bottom. Yeah. So again, this is one session that happened back on December 3rd. There's no video here, but this is how I'm keeping track of all of these particular things as it pertains to this particular practice. So now I can go back out to our homepage here. And again, we were focusing on solo practice number three. And if we were to take a look at the dump of the solo practice sessions, we can see here, hey, here is the highlight at one minute for the solo practice three. 
here is another highlight for the spins. You need to focus on the on the axis, and then here's the three minute mark. So whatever you input in the training journal is going to populate here on the outside when you get to your dancers, trainers dashboard. Yeah. And so this can seem a little bit overwhelming looking at all of it all together. But the cool thing with Notion is that you can really control this to where you can filter down different things. Yeah. So I showed you guys how we were practicing across different dance styles. We had different types of practice, different locations, practices with different people. So you can kind of see like all of this all together is kind of all crazy. But this is the cool thing about it. So let's go ahead and let's say we're going to focus on urban kids. So I can create a view here that has urban kids training. And basically here, what's happening is I am filtering wherever the dance style contains urban kids. So I filtered all of my entries here and now it's listing where everything is urban kids. And I've already created a urban kids moments as well. So now all of my urban kids journal entries are here and all of my urban kids moments here are here as well. So you can really customize the views as well um, based on what you want to see. And if I wanted to, I could even take this a little bit further in the urban kids moments. And let's say I wanted to create a sort to where it was sorted by the type of moment. And now you can see it separated the highlights versus the need to improve. You can see all the different training sessions that I had here that I've put in the system. Yeah. So let's say I wanted to focus on Brazilian Zook. I could do Brazilian Zook training. I could switch this view into Brazilian Zook moments. And here I have all of my Brazilian Zook journal entries, whether it's with a practice partner, whether it was solo practice, whether it was a private lesson. And here I have all of the moments here as well. So let's say I open up Brazilian Zook practice number three, and you can take a look at the timestamps that I have here. So it's pretty cool how I can create all of these different things as well. I also do want to highlight that the icons here are customizable as well. So you can see here with the Brazilian Zook, I have an emoji of the Brazilian flag here as well. And for the fusion practice, I have the atom here for like a fusion atom thingamajigga. You can totally choose whatever emoji that you want. If I were to go to all journal entries again, if there's no emoji, it'll just default to one of these little page icons. But if you want to, you can. If you don't, it's it's a completely optional thing of how you want to handle it. Let's say I wanted to take a look at all of my private lessons. I could take a look at my private lessons here as well. I have a moment here as well where this is all of my private lessons that I have taken. If I wanted to focus on solo practice, I could have solo practice moments as well. So you can really create the filters that you want to see and see those all in one glance. Yeah. If I wanted to focus on fusion moments, I could filter that as well. And now here are all of the fusion moments that I played around with. And so now that big, large list that we saw before is all organized into the view that I want, depending on what I want to focus on. Now, if you're doing multiple dance styles, this would be useful for you. Or if you're just doing one particular dance style, it's completely customizable to what you need here. Yeah. Another thing that I wanted to show here as well is going to be the calendar view. I can show here all of the different practices that I've done over time. So I think I went back as far as September. So here you can see all of the practice sessions that I've seen that I've done over the course of September, quote unquote, because this is dummy data. But how dope is this to be able to see what you've done from a calendar view, whether it's a solo practice, whether it's a social, whether it's a private lesson, all kinds of really cool things uh, that we're looking at here in the calendar view. And another possible view as well, if you'd like to see as well, would be, hey, I wanted to see this in kind of a Trello view. And this is what we are seeing by the dance style. So 
if I click on these three dots here and up here at the top, you'll see that I can group by different things and I have it by the dance style. I can do it by the type of practice. I can group by the focus, all kinds of different things that I want to be able to see the data that I'm putting into my dancing journey. I can definitely do that. For me, I think it'll be pretty cool if I'm doing multiple dance styles to see it by the dance style and you can see the date, you can see the number of hours, you can see the moments here. And what you see here in this view is also customizable. So again, clicking on those three dots and going to properties, I can toggle off the date. Uh, I can put the other people here as well. I can see the event or remove the event. I can add the focus. There's all kinds of, I can add the location. There's all kinds of different things that I can add to the view to have it completely customized, which is super, super dope. That is the training journal that we can do. And I will go back to the, let's go back to uh, the Urban Kids training. So I just showed you all of these things from a retroactive view. Another thing that's pretty cool is that I can also plan things for the future. So if you take a look here, I have a view of my training journal for future sessions. And this filter here is basically showing wherever the date is after today. So here you can see that I have this schedule for March, February and March. So for me now, I can plan out what I want to be able to see in the future as well for my practice sessions. So now I'm planning ahead of time and I'm like, OK, now I'll be able to use this tool as being able to plan out my future privates, practices, things of that nature. And if I open up one of these, you'll see that, hey, in this you have all these things. Maybe you can type in what you're going to be focusing on. So here you can see that in this future fusion practice, I'm going to be focusing on hip motion. So a really cool tool to help you also think forward, but I can definitely go back to the past and maybe even see what I did in the last 30 days to come up as well. So again, this filter is where the date is within the past month. And I don't have anything here right now, but let's say I was to go to Brazilian Zoop training and today's January. So I'm going to change this to January 22nd. So you'll see here, if I go back to last 30 days, it's going to automatically pick up on that fusion practice because I changed the date for within the 30 days. And you can also see here that I have a sum here at the bottom for the number of hours that you put in. So I think that's pretty cool as well to be able to see how many hours that you have put into a particular dance style or a particular type of practice and things of that nature. Yeah. All right. So what I want to do now is walk you through creating a new entry and a new moment so you guys can see that as well. And then we'll talk about how you guys can get this template for your use. So we are going to focus on West Coast Swim because I think that was looking pretty empty. So we'll go to all journal entries here. We'll go to new. We'll call this West Coast Swing practice. Let's make this for within the 30 days. Just do, okay, it was before Christmas Eve. Dance style is gonna be West Coast Swing type of practice. Let's say I had a practice partner, so there's no instructor. Let's say we practice for one hour. We practice at home and there's no event. And let's say the focus was on sugar push because that's a thing in West Coast Swing. And what I'm gonna do now is click on this training template. And you can see here as this is going to be created right off the back. So you can put in your focus. What were your takeaways? What was the music that was played? Things of that nature, whatever you want. Uh, let's say that I had a, let's say I was practicing to Biggie Smalls hypnotize. All I have to do here is right click and paste the link from YouTube. And I click on create bookmark and you can see, okay, there is the music that I was using to play around with. Yeah. And let's say that there was a video here. I can do that the same with like a Google Drive link and let's create a new timestamp. So I'm going to click on the new button here. You can see that 
the dance style, the training session, and the practice partner here all updated automatically. And let's create a highlight here. So let's say at minute 130, there was a cool spin. This is gonna be a highlight. Notes, let's just say it really cool triple spin and this entry was by me if i want to put that in there as well and that'll be it so now here's that west coast swing practice and everything is here with that timestamp and this falls within the last 30 days so i can take it into here you'll see that the west coast swing practice is there and i don't have a training moment here for west coast swing so what I'm going to end up doing here is basically taking these fusion practice moments and I can duplicate this so I don't have to like create it all from scratch and I can rename this to West Coast Swing practice moments and we'll just change the filter here to where like any dance style contains West Coast Swing. And so now you can see here's that West Coast Swing practice session that I added. Uh, where the spin was. So it's extracting all of the moments here from the training journal entries that I have up above. So that's how you would create a session. And again, you can customize this by all kinds of different things um, with, the, with the different tags of the things that you're focusing on and things of that nature. And so with this template that I created, all of these things will be automatic here for you to use. So I know that was a lot of information if you have any questions, definitely let me know in the comments below and I'll help you out here as well. But let's talk about how you can access this. So all you have to do is go to neokizomba.com slash templates and you'll see it on my website that you'll be able to access this. And I know a lot of different people are struggling with the situation. Some people are tight for money. Some people are not struggling for money right now. But basically here, this template is available for you for only seven bucks and if you find this super super valuable you can definitely tip and add more uh, through the service that i'm using which is called gumroad and as soon as you make that payment it will email you with the link to where it'll take you to this and basically you'll have these three things at your discretion it'll open up in your web browser or in notion and when you click on this template here Basically, you'll see that all of this is empty now that you can start adding things. And if you want to open things up, all of these things here are now available for you to start adding things. And the dummy training journal is here at the bottom if you need to reference it back again. But you can also just go back to here as well. And like I said before, this video that I'm recording right now on YouTube is going to be here as well. So you'll be able to use that for your reference as well. So I'm really excited to put this digital product out here for you guys. I hope that you guys find it valuable. I'm excited to see what you guys are going to create and how this is going to add value to your dancing to help you keep track of all of the energy and time and sweat that you're putting into your dance and just to organize it and to keep track, which will hopefully keep you more motivated and on track so that way you can level up your dancing, whether it's a solo dance, partner dancing, whether you're an instructor or not an instructor, I think that this tool is definitely going to help you stay on track and achieve the goals that you're setting in your dancing. So thank you guys so much for watching the video. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. And if you really like this content, make sure that you like the video. It really helps the channel to help put out this type of information to other dancers. And of course, don't forget to subscribe and we'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.